What's going on guys? Chuck back with another awesome Blu-ray purchase and today we're going to take a look at a new re-release possibly. <laughs> uh, this is from Scream Factory just released and it is their 4K edition of Cat People. Now I say re-release because obviously this is a title that Scream Factory has had in their catalog for quite a while under the Blu-ray Collector's Edition. And as is the case with most of their uh, recent releases, they've just taken that and reissued it into a 4K release. Uh, such films, they've done that with um, the, ho the Halloween films, um, The Howling, uh, Escape from New York is done that way. I think The Fog is just recently, I believe it was just recently coming out that way, or it could be mistaken. Um, Cat People, one of those ones that's been a, a reoccurring thing, which is met with um, mixed opinions, I guess, from people. Uh, I mean, a lot of people are happy to get these films in the 4K um, editions, um, but then some are like, well, they're just putting out the same product they already have. Why are they making me rebuy it? Which is a valid um, case. But in some cases, um, I think it's good for people who didn't get a chance to pick up the original Blu-ray collector set and made one out of print. Now it's put back out there in 4K now. I say that, and only probably a few of these have gone out of print. The one I can think of um, is Life Force. I know that was recently put out, or either it's going to come out or, out, or it's going to come out, other 4K um, version. And that, I, well, actually, no. None of these are really out of print. <laughs> they're still available in Blu-ray because you know, they're also selling them in 4K Blu-ray copies. But I guess, you know, the for most case, the collectible slip covers on those are out of print and this is a chance for collectors to I guess pick up the film with a slip cover I don't know uh, for those who maybe didn't purchase the blu-ray now they have the chance to purchase the 4k and the blu-ray which ta-da that's what I did because um, I did not have this um, now a couple of these have been released on 4k I did blu-ray and I'm not really in a hurry to upgrade I don't, again, as I've said numerous times, I don't have a 4K player set up. I'm living in the past. <laughs> so I don't really in a hurry to get it. Now, I've picked up a lot of 4K titles basically because I'm preparing for the future. And if a title I don't have and it's a, already, if it's a 4K and Blu ray and I don't already have it, what the heck? Case being Cat People. Um, or as I like to call it, the Kinky Cat Movie. <laughs> Um, with Nastasia Kinski uh, and Malcolm McDowell. Um, this is a, if you've never seen it, it's, I want to almost say like an erotic thriller. It's not really a horror film. Um, obviously, it's, I wouldn't say it's a remake of the uh, 1940s uh, Valentine produced Cat People. Although there's an inspiration from it, there's a lot of similarities to it. Um, Obviously, this is a lot more uh, sexy and taboo as you deal with incest in, in this film. And there's a whole lot of naked people. Okay, there's mostly a whole lot of naked Nastasha Kinski, which is not a bad thing. <laughs> but you also get a little naked Malcolm McDowell, a little crazy naked Malcolm McDowell, acting like a, a, a giant uh, cat. So if you're into that, hey, that's a, that's a good thing. But And you also get, you know... Uh, People in some I forgot were in like a Netto Tool, uh, Ed Bigley Jr. in here, which was interesting because I had not, I totally, I had not seen this movie whew, probably over a decade. Uh, and I had forgotten a lot of it except for a few obvious piece, bits and pieces. Um, and I was rather intrigued. We were, we were watching it, my wife and I just re watched it uh, a couple nights ago after I got it. And I was, I mean, a couple moments kind of just made me jump, you know. Again, I can make scares, but it's like his. You're just really into the the, the moment, the, the the film. It's got a good uh, dark tone and, and, and mood, and you get kind of get wrapped up. So also, some, you know, the, your typical jump scare. It, it worked uh, for me. And again, Natasha Kinski is not bad to look at at all. Um, but I like. I mean, I don't know if she's really dynamic in her performance, um, but she does a good job in the beginning of this film. Is playing a very um, almost sweet, innocent um, character, kind of just 
almost oblivious and in denial of what she really is. Um, but then kind of towards the latter half of the film, it, she switches in it in the performance she does. It's a great switch, and I like how she pulls that off. And, of course, Malcolm McDowell is Malcolm McDowell. He's very, he's, you know, you, you see him, you you keep your eye on him. You know, you can't take your eyes off him. He's got a very good presence. Um, and he's he's Malcolm McDowell. <laughs> but um, if you have not seen this film, um, if you're into erotic thriller with a supernatural twist, I highly recommend you check it out. If you have not, I think, I can't remember the exact date. Uh, let me see if I can look at this and find out. If my eyes will work for me. Um, uh, 1982. 82. So, there you go. Um, so, let's take a look at here. Here is the 4K slipcover. Which, you know, unlike the original uh, Screen Factory release, which had like an original where you're basically using kind of a traditional promo uh, poster art. Uh, here's the back of that slip. With all your special features. Now, I believe all special features are the same special features you see on the original Blu-ray release, uh, except for you've got a 4K. Uh, outside the slipcover, now this did have a reverse cover art, which was nice, and it's this really, I know I love this very, I don't know, it's a very sexy image, I think, um, with those eyes, we get that glare off there, there we go. Uh, this, uh, Natasha Kinski, I really like this image. Uh, the back is still the same as the slip cover. And inside, all you've really got again you your 4K disc and your Blu-ray. All your special features are on the Blu-ray disc. Um, and the 4K is strictly just the movie. Um, the reverse artwork on the slip is the same as the slip cover. So, let's, yeah, the reverse artwork on here is this image here. For special features, like I said, I'm not going to turn that. My, my reading is not getting me that good to see that print right now. <laughs> there you go. Like I said, all these features are on the Blu-ray disc, and they're pretty much, I almost positive, the same as the original Blu-ray release, which is still available, I believe, from Screen Factory. So you can either just buy that strictly, or you can get the 4K and have the Blu-ray as well, um, which, you know, I went ahead and did. Because I didn't get the Blu-ray for it. I'm, you know, like I said, I don't have 4K, but I'm playing for the future. That's a lot. <laughs> this reminds me of a lot of when Blu-rays first came out and DVDs were still the popular thing. So you start seeing more and more releases where DVD Blu-ray combos. So, you know, you have the choice. And then that kind of fade away was strictly all Blu-ray. And now you get a 4K and they're putting 4K Blu-ray combos, which is a nice thing for me to prepare. And I'll, there are some cases where it's one or the other. Uh, which you gotta be careful on that because I got burned on that recently. I had uh, pre ordered Sonic the Hedgehog 2 <laughs> for the kids and I thought I was getting a, a 4K Blu ray combo and er turned out I was only getting a 4K. So it was a point where I just gotta return it because for whatever reason they made that two separate discs as opposed to just putting. Well, I know why they did two separate discs, probably hoping to get more money out of it. Um, and just confuse the general, the general audience who doesn't realize what they're getting. Um, so I had to have to repick that one up again for, for my son. I digress. So that, <laughs> that is it. This real quick showing of again, the new screen factory release of the 4k Blu-ray combo of cat people from 1982. Again, it's very, I, I consider it more of a erotic, erotic thriller with a supernatural twist. Um, I suppose a really horror film, although there's some you know good scary elements in it. But I think it's a it's a very good, um, it's this is kind of like a it's a nice slow build. You got some good characters in there, but it can be very sexy at times. And again, but it's also got a little a little bit of a kink to it. Um, like I said, there's the mention of of uh, incest, and that's all in the plot line. I won't get into that. Most of you probably know what it is if you're watching this, anyways. But for those who don't. Check it out. It's and if you don't mind seeing a, a lot of naked Natasha Skinsky, then this is for you. <laughs> so on that note, uh, this is Chuck. And again, if you enjoy this, click the thumbs up, share, subscribe, leave me a comment below. Tell me what you think 
of Cat People. Um, did you see the original Cat People and what you thought? I my personally, I, I I did see the original one. Um, I had to see it again. It's been a long time. I don't remember too much about it, um, but I remember you know being I, I remember enjoying it, but I just can't remember a whole lot about it. And I'm obviously no, it's also varies a lot from this particular version. I did not see Curse of the Cat People, which is a sequel to that. Uh, I think 42 uh, version of Cat People. I got the year right. Excuse me, but. Let me know if you've seen those, what you think of them. Again, what you think of the, uh, the 82 version. You know, uh, what your thoughts are on Screen Factory and their re-releasing older titles uh, in 4K releases, as opposed to bringing out new titles, um, which they haven't really done too much for a while. I think so a, lot, a lot of their stuff's been basically catalog titles they're releasing. Um, with 4K versions, um, there was there was something I came up with the most recent releases. It's gonna kill me right now. It's on the tip of my tongue that I was kind of surprised that they're putting out. Um, so, anyways, hopefully we'll start getting a few more newer titles. Um, but and I know I think there was some issue too I've seen online. I'm kind of rambling now. I do apologize with some uh, issues with the how this. This got to you, was people received the disc, smudges, scratches, all that. Happy to say, I had no problem with this. My disc, I got ordered mine, pre ordered mine from Amazon, and I got it on time, came in perfect condition. The discs were clean, it you know, played beautifully again, the Blu ray at least. <laughs> but both discs were clean, everything looked good. So I had no issues to report uh, as far as this goes. So that is it. And again, leave me in comments below. I kind of went off the deep in there. Um, or just say hi. <laughs> I'll always take hi. Um, until next time, this is Chuck saying I will see you on the other side.